Have you ever wondered when we die? Where does the I go? The I that thinks, feels, dreams, does it vanish in an instant? Or does it move somewhere else? When a human dies, the brain releases a flood of chemicals, DMT, serotonin, and endorphins. There are the same chemicals that create dreams, peace, and visions. In those last seconds, the brain desperately tries to hold on to the self. Research shows the brain can remain active for 20 to 30 seconds after death. This may be why people say they see their entire life flashes before their eyes. Now let's look at quantum science. Some scientists believe consciousness emerges at quantum levels inside the brain. When death comes, this quantum state doesn't simply end. It spreads into the universe. That means the I does not just disappear. It transforms into another form of existence. But what does the Quran say? The Quran says, Allah take the souls at the time of death. And another verse, every soul shall taste the death. But what does it mean to taste death? Could it be the very experience of the self dissolving, crossing into a new reality? Philosophy equals the same mystery. The Sufi speaks of Funafi Allah, the annihilation of the self in God. Buddhism says the self is an illusion. If the self truly is an illusion, then perhaps that is the moment this illusion finally ends. Yet one great mystery remains. If the self dissolves in death, how will it rise again on the day of resurrection? The Quran answers, just as we begin the first creation, we will recreate it again. This suggests our existence is preserved like a cosmic backup. DNA, the soul, and the energy of the universe together safeguard of our identity forever. So the ultimate question is, is death an end or is the very first step of a new journey? This mystery remains unfinished and may be hidden within this greatest secret of the universe.